Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Is China's chip industry rising or self-satisfied? Faced with the high-pressure blockade of the United States, the cautious attitude of foreign capital, and the news of domestic technological breakthroughs, public opinion is polarized. Some say that China's chips are ushering in a golden age, while others say that the technical barriers are too high and we are just emboldening ourselves. What is the truth? This is not a simple market competition, but a head-on technological offensive and defensive battle. In this battle, we see Shanghai Microelectronics insisting on developing lithography machines, Huawei relying on a Kirin chip to fight against global semiconductor giants, SMIC stock price rising and falling, and the mood of the capital market is as exciting as a roller coaster. On the other hand, ASML supports China in words, but it is not soft at all where it should be strangled. Can the Chinese chip industry break through the siege? Today, let's talk about the most critical steps in this life and death battle. In the field of global chip manufacturing, lithography machines are key equipment that cannot be bypassed. For a long time, ASML's EUV, Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Machine, technology, has firmly controlled the lifeline of high-end chips. Without EUV, chips below 7 nanometers are basically unsolvable. However, can China really only watch helplessly? Shanghai Microelectronics has found another way, using DUV lithography machines with quadruple exposure SAQP process to develop the 7 nanometer process. Although this method is feasible, it is extremely costly. Increasing the number of exposures means that the complexity of the lithography process increases exponentially, the cost soars, and the yield rate is not as good as EUV technology. In other words, this is a strategy of using physical strength to make up for insufficient equipment. Although it can be done, it is tiring and expensive. But then again, it is better than being stuck in the neck, right? With the gradual breakthrough of domestic photoresists, the use of DUV lithography machines combined with new materials can indeed allow domestic chip manufacturers to survive the most difficult period. Can Huawei rely on Kirin chips to support the entire Chinese chip industry? The answer is no, or not just Kirin. The birth of Kirin 9020 proves Huawei's ability to achieve 7 nanometer chips under the N2 process. This chip can already compete with Samsung's 4 nanometer chip in terms of performance. To some extent, this is a landmark victory for domestic semiconductors. But more importantly, Huawei's technological breakthroughs are more than that. Many people may not know that Huawei is also researching a technology called magnetic photoresist. Simply put, this technology can control the molecular arrangement of photoresist through a magnetic field, improve the accuracy of the chip, and reduce costs at the same time. If this technology, jointly developed by Huawei and Fudan University, is really mature and applied to the production line, it means that China can get rid of its dependence on overseas photoresists and even achieve overtaking on the curve in material technology. In other words, the Kirin chip gives people hope for Chinese chip design and magnetic photoresist may be the real king bomb of Chinese chip manufacturing. Technological breakthroughs are technological breakthroughs, but market sentiment is another matter. Recently, SMIC's stock price has skyrocketed, making many people excited as if domestic chips have already stood on the top of the world. But the sentiment of the capital market has always been realistic. On the one hand, domestic investors are enthusiastic, and on the other hand, foreign capital is cautiously withdrawing. Capital has the most sensitive sense of smell. Why is foreign capital cautious about SMIC? It's simple. Although domestic chips are accelerating, 
the competition in the global semiconductor industry is extremely cruel. It is still difficult to completely replace TSMC and Samsung in the short term. In addition, ASML verbally expressed support for the Chinese market, but still maintained restrictions on technology and equipment supply. The turbulence in the capital market shows that this industry breakthrough battle is far from the stage where the outcome is determined. Chip manufacturing is an extremely complex industrial chain. Chip design and lithography machines are not enough. Every link such as materials, packaging, and testing is key. If the entire industrial chain cannot develop synchronously, then the shortcomings of a certain link will become a fatal injury. The good news is that China's semiconductor industry chain is being fully laid out. In addition to breakthroughs in lithography machines and photoresists, packaging, testing, storage and other fields are also making continuous progress. For example, domestic 14 nanometers photoresists are expected to be mass-produced in Q3 2025, which is crucial to improving the production capacity of domestic chips. At the same time, domestic storage chip companies are also rising rapidly, and Yangtze Memory's 3D NAND technology is close to the world's advanced level. The improvement of the industrial chain makes Chinese chips more resistant to risks and more confident to face the competition in the global market in the future. In the chip industry, it is difficult for enterprises to succeed alone and government support is crucial. In recent years, the Chinese government has continuously increased its support for the semiconductor industry, setting up special funds, tax incentives, and other policies to help domestic enterprises accelerate research and development and production. For example, companies such as SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor have received policy support, which enables them to have sufficient funds and resources to carry out technical research in critical periods. In addition, the state encourages enterprises to cooperate with universities and research institutions to accelerate the training of semiconductor talents and ensure future technical reserves. Policy support means that the domestic chip industry has a more stable development environment and it will also help enterprises gradually gain a foothold in the global market. The future competition in the chip industry will be an endurance race. Judging from the current development rhythm, by 2028, China's chip self-sufficiency rate will increase significantly, and TSMC's 2 nanometer production line will also complete the climb at that time. By then, the pattern of the global semiconductor market may undergo new changes. But the rise of domestic chips will not be smooth sailing. Technological challenges, market competition, and changes in the international situation are all realistic problems. But as the rise of Huawei tells us, as long as the road is right, there is no need to worry about the distance. The future of Chinese chips is already on the way.